Welcome to beautiful Mackey's Hideout in McHenry, ladies and gentlemen, and to the concert series. I'm your host, Mr. Tom Bonick. Thank you all for coming. Put your hands together for yourselves. So I am with the bass player. What is your complete name? David Thomas Flynn. David Thomas Flynn. And how long have you been playing the bass, David? Uh, over 30 years. And where did you start playing the bass? How did you get to play the bass? Uh, I don't know. Did you start on guitar and decide, I really can't handle six strings, I only want to deal with four? No, it was always something uh, you want to do, but you, a lot of things you can't do until you turn 16 and get a job, and you get money, and now you can buy things. Wow, and then you can buy a bass. Yeah. So that is, uh, it's like looking at the bass back here, it's a Fender bass, is that correct? Yes, it is. Yes. It's no model, it's just Fender? That's a Fender Jazz Bass five-string. It uh, was a 94. See, it's a five-string Fender Jazz Bass. That definitely helps me personally, and it, it's great. I mean, I know you you said earlier that you used to play with Ed, and you guys separated for a while. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, times go on, and, you know, people get married and have children, and, uh, you know... Wait, we should make a TV series called that. Married with children, maybe, huh? Ah, uh, uh, but it's, it's all life. You know, it's all part of life. All right, put your hands together for Dave, the bass player, ladies and gentlemen. How about putting your hands together for... Ed Peterson, Easy Ed. Easy Ed Peterson, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's my understanding, Ed, that you wrote most of the material that we're going to be hearing tonight. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I wrote all the songs we're going to be uh, playing tonight. So, I mean, b besides the sound man, Mr. Bill Mackey, who can afford a yacht? Because I asked... My, my, some of my Ed heads over here might be able to... Uh, yeah, no, they don't have a yacht yet. Is it right? My one, my brother had a semi yacht. No, it wasn't a yacht. It was an 18 footer, but it was, it was a boat. <laughs> is it a row boat? No, no, a ski boat. All right, tell me about the music you wrote. Did you start writing music at a young age, or did you, you know, in your elderly age, what did you do with these songs? Sure, yeah, I received a uh, guitar for Christmas, a uh, Evan Rude acoustic, uh, at, when I was 15 years old, and uh, by, uh, I started writing songs pretty much right away. Now the rest is history, huh? Uh, not yet. We're, we're making history. We're going to try. How did you get the nickname Easy? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just asking. I don't know. What, you know I'm, I'm just asking. Well, you know, I, I, was, I was playing a gig one time. And a uh, guy came up, and he was requesting a song. And he said to me, he says, uh, uh, can you play a song? And I said, uh, go right ahead. I'm easy. And he goes, and he said to me, you're easy yet. Well, to a couple of years later, I realized my name, Ed Peterson, was not a very memorable name, so I needed a moniker. And I kind of gave it to myself, you know, remembering back to that day. And now you're easy Ed Peterson. I am. I'm easy Ed. All right. Well, go on up there. You guys go on stage and do your thing, and I appreciate it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming here to Mackey's Hideout. How about giving a round of applause to the videographer, Mr. Mike Painter? Can I have a round of applause for the sound man, Mr. Bill Mackey himself, please? So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Easy Ed Peterson.
Welcome, welcome, come right in. Don't have to pretend. Bring your family, bring your friends. I'm easy yet. Come in and sit right down. Hope you're gonna stick around. Pick you up if you're feeling down, cuz I'm easy yet. I will make you smile. out with me a while I will make you smile mile after mile so hang out with me a while one's called Camp Wonderland. Song about self-reflection. Find 
my soul would be tossed inside without these dreams. Thank you very much. How's everybody doing? You know, I'm, uh, I come from Wisconsin. I grew up in Arlington Heights. When I got old enough and I was driving back and forth from Arlington Heights to Woodstock and taking uh, 25 minutes just to get through Crystal Lake, I, I said, one day I said, you know, the hell with this. And I moved up to Wisconsin. I moved all the way up to Rhinelander Eagle, and Eagle River, Wisconsin. Lived up there for 10 years. Dave and I kind of got uh, lost in, at that time, uh, lost connection with each other, just recently reconnected. Anyways, this song's kind of autobiographical about the way I ended up in Wisconsin, in homage to my adopted state of Wisconsin. It's called Cheeseheads. Peace of mind. 
Another song. This is from a local event up uh, just north of the border in uh, southern Wisconsin. There, uh, back in 2007, actually it was in January of 2007, uh, F3 tornado tore through a small town of Wheatland. Actually, Wheatland is a massive by land and very small by population. But uh, my uh, the, the tornado went through just a mile north of me, and I, I sat there and watched it. And uh, when it was done. You know, when that tornado came, all hell broke loose. Sirens everywhere, everywhere, and lights going everywhere. And um, some of the kids at my school, at my some of the kids at my kids' school were affected by the tornado. My son came home one day. He said, "You know, they're calling this uh, tornado Timmy Tornado." So I sat down and wrote this song called "Terrible Timmy" about that tornado. And rubble in his way. You better hide your children, cause Timmy's on his way. I've got an F3 bearing down on me. I've got to save my home and my family. Was all around. He couldn't steal 
their homes, but he could not bring them down. Watch out, you better watch out, watch out, watch out, terrible Timmy. Watch out, watch out, watch out, terrible Timmy. Watch out, watch out, watch out, terrible Timmy. Here's a little song came up with this came up with this riff and I just wrote the song around the riff Now this is kind of an audience participation song you'll hear the hear your cue when the cha cha chas come you got to sing I think I got my plugged in. There we go. Okay, so I, I wrote this song and there's a little bit of a cha-cha-cha at the end. Uh, I'm going to think my, uh, my uh, backup singers over here are going to sing the cha-cha-cha. <laughs> I'm going to go through it one time and then you're fine. This one's called Banana Tree. Sun was hot, the truth be told. 
But the tropical drinks were cold The mariachis kept the beat Steel drums made me move my feet Ooh-wee, can't you see You and me under a banana tree No way, hear what I say Cause that's where the scorpions play Cha-cha-cha Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> All right, thank you.
There's a spirit in the east and a spirit in the south. There's a great spirit in the west. It's written, God made man, caretaker of the land. Well, it seems we failed the test. The world is burning. Put out the fire now. The earth keeps turning. No one can stop it. No how. Oceans churning, no one can stop it, no how. The world is burning, put out the fire now. The world is burning. Put out the fire now. Oceans churning, nature will not bow. The world keeps turning, no one can stop it, no how. Out the fire now. <laughs> All right, <laughs> thank you. One more song on the six string, and we're gonna get up and finish off the night with a couple of on the twelve. This song is called Wing Nut. It's been interpreted different ways by many different people. I always describe it as uh, a song about embracing your inner insanity. After all, we're all a little bit crazy, and I think we need to embrace that. <laughs> Wingnut. This one's on my CD. At the end of this song, I put on a big old New Orleans brass band, and they went on with this riff, and then there was a, a counter melody, then a, a counter to the counter melody. So uh, hopefully when you get this CD, you can hear that brass band fading off, marching down the street. That's the riff. Don't want to be discuss no politics. Don't think might make you think that I'm a lunatic. I don't want to discuss no religious semantics. Cause that might make you think that I'm a heretic I just need to learn to keep 
keep my big mouth shut Don't want no one to think that I'm a wing nut I'm a bit nuts, yeah that's what they say A little bit nuts, but in a very good way I'm a wing nut, and I like it that way I'm a wing nut every day Don't want to be called a left-wing socialist Don't want to be called a conservative racist Don't want to be called a Nazi communist Cause that might make get me on the government hit list I just need to learn to keep my big mouth shut how about you don't want no one to think that I'm a wing nut I'm a bit nuts yeah that's what they say a little bit nuts but in a very good way I'm a wing nut that way I'm a wing nut every day I'm a bit nuts yeah that's what they say a little bit nuts but in a very good way I'm a wing nut and I like it that way I'm a wing nut every day I'm a wing nut every day All right, everybody, we're getting close to the end here. I got a couple more. I don't know what the time is, but I was too early. We're having too much fun now. We're having too much fun. What I figured, I got three more. Yep, all right. Hope everybody's having as much fun as I am. No way. No way. <laughs> Another sing along here. The folks over here that know, know my songs. I actually wrote this back in the 80s when I used to play with Dave and about a trip I took up to Canada. Went to a lake called Maple Lake, and that's what this song is. I was not there. I swear. The one lake I didn't see. <laughs> Caught 
me some fish at Maple Lake. Fry them in a pan, put them on my plate. They tasted great. Ooh, they tasted great at Maple Lake. Had me a beer, had me a steak. Well, I got drunk, fell in the lake. Oh, it was great. Ooh, it was great at Maple Lake. Alright, here's gonna little song I wrote. Here's a short little song, it's a little patriotic song I wrote. I think we're all a bit patriotic. The song's kind of a I meant to uh, write this so everybody can realize that you know we got a lot more in common than we do different. So the song's called That's What It Means. Every day from 
From the great cities of our nation To the farms of the Midwest One thing we all agree on That's America's the best To stand up and be counted To help others when we can what it means to be an American. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. That's what our fathers told us makes this land the best That's what they fought for That's how they're laid to rest We always come together In times of unrest We always survive On that you Here's a little ditty I wrote. I just love this little groove, so we're going to kind of make it short. I can make this song three minutes, or I can make this song eight minutes. You know, one of those. Oh. 
going to do as I wander through this life, wondering how I'll get by. Will it be joy or strife? Hanging from the tree of life, hanging from the tree of life. Lord knows I will be fine. When I look back on where I've been, well, there's been good times and there's been sin. As I travel farther on this crooked trail, one thing's for certain, Lord knows I will prevail. Be joy or strife Hanging from the tree of life Hanging from the tree of life Lord knows I'm doing fine I'm doing fine Break it down, Dave. Doing this last song. Well, you know, this is my encore, and this one's called the party song. So I want you all to sing along with us. This is one song. Me, Dave, and I. Dave and I. I'm going to tell you the story. Dave and I met at uh, Harper College. We both played in the steel drum orchestra, and uh, I wrote this song. Uh, party song. This is back when I was a kid partying my ass off. <laughs> and we uh, arranged this for the steel drum band. And everybody would yell, we can, we will. So, you know, that's what the audience has got to do. Yell, we can, we will. And you'll know when it's coming.
Thank you everybody for partying with us here tonight at Mackey's Hideout. And I want to thank Tom Bonnick and the Tom Bonnick Concert Series for having me out here tonight. It's been a lot of fun, everybody. Thank you for coming out. How about it for Easy Ed and with the accompaniment of Dave over here on the bass. Thank you very much. Thanks to Mike. Thanks to Bill. I greatly appreciate it. You guys have a great holiday. Have a nice Christmas. God bless you all. Everybody, good night. Caught up in the fall,